Now, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, and please welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're currently watching yet you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. You can also press the notification bell down below so that you may be able to automatically receive the notifications updates from YouTube itself immediately I post a video on this channel. Otherwise, to my returning subscribers, to my viewers and supporters, I really want to appreciate you for your continued support. Feel very much welcome as you watch and I really, really don't take the support for granted. Having said that, now let us go straight into the deeper details of this video. And recently, during the peace dialogue meeting between William Ruto and the Azimio leader, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, both the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance and Azimio agreed to appoint a committee, leaders to lead the dialogue or the negotiations between both teams. Just for a reminder, uh, for the confirmation purposes, let me just read for you the statement that was agreed a release that was released immediately after that meeting. It says that, let me just show you the screen. We have therefore agreed to establish a committee of 10 composed, uh, composed of five members each from Azimio Lomoja and Kenya Kwanza as follows. Number one, four members from outside parliament, two from each side. Number two, the leaders of majority and minority from the National Assembly. And three, four additional members of parliament, two from each side. And of course, yesterday, the Asmiolo Moja Alliance had a consultative meeting whereby they appointed all these leaders. Let me just read for you. The Azimio released a statement saying that press leaders Azimio Lomoja delegation to dialogue committee. Further to our statement yesterday, expressing commitment to dialogue with Kenya Kwanza for a speedy and a sustainable resolution for the country's problems and other internal consultations from Azimio and Kenya party has today named its delegation to the talks as follows. Number one, we have His Excellency uh, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka will be actually the who is the delegation leader. We have the minority leader of Pio Wandai, uh, Eugene Omalo, the party leader of DAP, Honorable Congo Mugini, the Senator for Yamira, and Honorable Amina Nyanzi from who is actually the MP uh, from Malindi. So during that meeting, consultative meeting within the Azimio to appoint this committee, the Kenya party leader, Honorable Martha Karua, wanted to become the decision maker simply because she is actually the deputy leader of Azimio. And she wanted to make the decision and especially in appointing the leaders to represent or to be the committee during the Azimio and Kenya Kwanza dialogue meeting. And that is why she was proposing that uh, uh, why, uh, the DAP party leader, Omalwa, to be removed or to be left behind in the talks. And that is why the Kelelechua MCA, Robert Alai, posted something during the ongoing meeting and he says that let me just show you the screen some members okay odm is doing a lot of work for some members in azimio Namoja who are doing nothing i do not think it's fair for martha karua to start making crazy demands when she couldn't deliver 700 votes in our own village polling station and that is why by the ending of that meeting ladies and gentlemen Rayo Dinga ended up selecting or appointing the leaders from uh, 
wiper to be led by Kanonzo. So Raila Odinga actually uh, demoted Martha Karua and opted for Kalonzo Musioka and all other Mount Kenya region leaders of who belongs to Az Azimio were left behind in this dialogue committee. Now, but I want us to focus mainly on Martha Karua because she is actually the deputy leader of Azimio. Why do you think Raila Odinga left behind Martha Karua for Kalonzo Musioka? And what does this message from Robert Alai mean to Martha Karua? Number one, it basically means that Martha Karua and all the Mount Kenya Alliance leaders or the Mount Kenya leaders from Azimio are actually a burden to the Azimio. Why? I personally believe that the reason as to why they were left behind is because of their poor political performance. You know, in politics, it's all about negotiations. Negotiations on the table comes with the people who you are bringing. You are, your, your, your majority supporters will uplift you when you are negotiation, when, on your negotiation table. But according to Robert Alai, is saying that Martha Karua has, cannot even deliver a total of 700 votes from his own village. During the previous 2022 general election, Martha Karua delivered a small amount of voters, yet she was the deputy of Raila Odinga. Can also Musioka on the other side manage to deliver huge voting base of the Okambani region? The DAP Kenya party leader, Awamalwa, managed to bring voters and the MPs to Raila Odinga. So basically, the Mount Kenya region, the reason as to why they were left behind, and Martha Karu was not given that opportunity to make her own demands, is because of her political poor performance. Secondly, Martha Karu is no longer being allowed to make any decisions in the Azimio Lomoja Alliance. So Martha Karu will be there to follow not to make any decision. The person who will basically make any decision is Raila Odinga. And if Raila Odinga is not there, Kanzo Sioka will take over. And that is why, if you have noticed, when Raila Odinga is available in any Azimio Lomoja Alliance meeting, Martha Karua must be there. But any time Raila Odinga is absent and Kanzo Sioka takes over to lead any of the events led by Azmiu Lomoja Alliance, you will notice that Martha Karua must miss that event simply because there is this uh, 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 fight for leadership who is more superior than the other between Kalonzo and Martha Karua. So let us wait and see how things will unfold itself as we go ahead and also that Martha Karua has lost her political grip. The truth of the matter is that when it comes to matters politics here in Kenya, Martha Karua cannot make any political wave. She has completely lost her political grip compared to other Azimio Lomoja Alliance leaders. If Martha Karua cannot be supported from her own village, from her own region where she comes from, then basically she cannot be supported in any place here in Kenya, she cannot be supported. That is why Kalonzo Musioka is being supported in Okambani region first. Therefore, he can top up with other regions to support him. And that is why William Ruto is being supported in the Rift Valley region first by a majority of leaders before he being supported by other places. That is why Raila Odinga is being supported in the Luo Nyanza region first before he's being supported all over the country. So basically, those are the basics of politics. I don't know what you think. That was my analysis for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me hear your thoughts on the comment section below. Let me hear your opinion. Just write a comment. 
Otherwise, I don't have much. Until next time, my name is Jason. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.